It wasn't large, but it was spirited. Young climate change activists marching today on the White House. They were demanding action from a president who doubts the science and has turned his back on a global consensus. Among those here was Greta Thunberg, the 16-year-old activist bringing her campaign to the residence of the one man who may be her greatest obstacle. I'm so incredibly grateful for every single one of you. and I'm so proud of you who have come here. This is very overwhelming. And uh, to just never give up, we will, we will continue. Yeah. Greta arrived in America two weeks ago aboard a zero-emissions yacht. Her aim is to mobilize American students and add to the pressure on world leaders who will soon be gathering in New York for the UN General Assembly. Certainly climate change was at the very center of last night's debate by Democratic presidential hopefuls. And yes, we will address the catastrophic crisis of climate change among these candidates, there is a broad acceptance that rising temperatures represent a national and global emergency. I refuse to postpone any longer taking on climate change and leading the world in taking on climate change. After those emphatic statements on the presidential stage last night, there's no question that climate change is moving up the political agenda, but only for one party and in the face of fierce resistance from the president. In fact, President Trump didn't even turn up for the session on climate change at the recent G7 summit in Biarritz. And he openly mocked those who talk about the potential of wind power and of replacing fossil fuels. The United States uh, has tremendous wealth. I'm not going to lose that wealth. I'm not going to lose it on, on dreams, on windmills, which, frankly, aren't working too well. But the forest fires consuming so much of the Amazon has given the American national conversation more urgency. And that same debate has been fueled by the destructive power of Hurricane Dorian, which experts say may have been intensified by a warming ocean. These young activists today are mobilizing, seeing their own government as their greatest foe. Robert Moore, News at 10, Washington.